All right, guys, uh, Emo Temp is back, and today I have a very exciting one as well. Uh, another one from the reunion. I hope you've enjoyed the series. Um, this one I had to I had to share. I'd run into um, well, Andy, one of our teammates, had run into it before at a previous event, and I saw it that it was in top tables few, uh, during the day. So I had to you know get it for you. Uh, this is Paul's uh, you know I guess it was a standard unit OTK, uh, but it uses the Warrior of Light and Rain and stuff like that. So you'll see. What he talks about and how it works it's very Yu-Gi-Oh, if you will um and i hope you uh i hope you guys enjoy it so what's going on guys emo tempest here uh with another uh interview here live from uh winter park florida for the reunion uh, i have paul from virginia here uh, hey. bringing out one of the few otk decks we have here in in final fantasy and so i had to get him on here to share it with you paul talk let's talk what do you got Hey everyone, um, I'm here at Reunion and I brought my OTK Warrior of Light deck, standard units to it. I went X2. Uh, so here are. Uh, oh, can you turn them around? Yeah, yeah thanks, man. Yeah. These babies are the main part of the deck. Um, I kind of got inspired because I'm an old Yu Gi Oh player <laughs> and Final Fantasy was kind of lacking the, you know, OTK, OTK thing? element. Yeah. So uh, I kind of designed this. Um, my variant, at least, uh, is the rain combo. So the only way this works is that you have to have rain on the field, and then you pitch rain to make all your forts have haste, and you swing for game. The reason why you have Warrior of Light is because all my in my entire deck is just standard units that enter the field, draw a card, and then untap mana, and then enter the field, draw a card, untap mana, and do it over and over and over and over again. And then eventually you'll swing with everything. Um, so that's these two are the core of the deck. Uh, the weakness is is that usually I lose to Zidane when they pluck these out, or if they hit them in the damage zone, or if they miss dragging them, and I cry, I become very sad. <laughs> so um, the reason why I decided to run one one tech red rain because I felt like three rains wasn't good enough, so I had to add an extra rain. Moving on. All right, Titus. Uh, just a tech choice uh, to bounce back Viking to my hand. Oh, I guess this is a good point. Another main card of the deck, Vikings. Um, I basically just summon these, bounce it back to my hand, draw more cards, and uh, summon them again, bounce it back to my hand and draw more cards. And eventually I'll have three of these on the field. Also a main core of the deck. Uh, this is just a tech, I just run one of these. Um, unlike their big brother though, these little Vikings, not as good. Uh, they only draw one card when they enter it, but it's only a two drop. So I basically tap two, summon it, and untap two, so it's free. And then, you know, Layla, Vikings, always a good pair, right? Tech is Stola, just in case. Miss Dragon, I hate Miss Dragon. <laughs> Um, just for summons that want to target my Rain and um, Warrior of Light, I just need her to protect them. Uh, knights, just because they're beefy standard units when you have five backups and they're low cost, they also upgrade, update my mana pool. And then lastly, the big guy that protects them all, uh, White Mage. Um, he prevents all damage from summoning abilities. So basically when I get this guy on the field, uh, they can't do anything uh, in terms of killing my warrior fight so that's a good part and those are all the four so usually in a real game you just see all of this on the board with the rain and then you pitch rain to haste everything in wow <laughs> How many is this? Is this literally the as many forwards as you get every time, or uh, like well, what's the max? Did you literally just summon everyone? I, I've done max before. You've yeah. done max before. I've done max before. <laughs> wow. Normally, on average, it's about this much. Okay. That's average. All right. So food. Huh? Let's get food. You got food. Okay, Moving I'm on. Almost to, done. Yeah, backups and then. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are. How'd you do? Uh, uh, Maybe you can get it. I'm X4. I don't want to play. 
<laughs> you don't want to play. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Oh. Even if I don't. Okay. Uh, one Tech Thornton. He is a good EX burst. Let's me search for rain or uh, Warrior of Light on command if I really need it, or any other Vikings if I just need to ramp my mana, so on and so forth. Uh, Hilda, uh, this is a weird choice. Uh, the reason why I chose that is because I usually have a lot of mana in my hand, so and a lot of stuff on the field. So I just play that and I get four more cards. So it's pretty free. Um, Brawn, simple EX burst into Vikings. Uh, or I just play it. Simple as that. Mion. Bounce back Vikings. Um, I get to draw two cards, so it's even better. Uh, this also combos well with Titus. Where's Titus at? Titus, because I can choose both Viking and Mion, and then just do it all over again, so it's pretty nice. Um, lastly, or not lastly, continuing on, uh, move Moogle 11. Uh, basically, it's it's a small cost, wind, mana, um, and it allows me to search for specific cards when I need it. Um, Gladiator. Uh, when I pitch my Vikings to play cards, uh, I can break them easily and return them back onto the field, and then it procs Warrior of Light's ability. Uh, so that works. And lastly is Aerith. Uh, this is a weird tech choice. Uh, it's because in the beginning I had trouble protecting my Warrior of Light and Rain. So now I have something to protect it with and everything on my board. So it's even better. Also, it, it untaps three mana. Yeah, I imagine it curves out like you it can. Curves out pretty well. Curves out pretty well. Play, yeah. play the Warrior of Light and then start like drawing, right? Yeah. Stuff. yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. Um, so specifically for this tournament, I had to run a Bismarck because I was out of Asuras. But normally, I would run three Asuras. Three Asuras? Uh, this was just something I had on hand, so I had to put it in last minute. But normally, you would run three Asuras. You know, you just play the card. Um, very little do I use the set ability to get Viking back to my hand. I normally use it to untap all my backups and then just start ramping all over again. Uh, Next on my summons would be Chocobos. Uh, choose a forward, bounce it back to your hand, and then draw a card. I typically use this on Viking, so I draw two cards every time I do this, and then I draw and I summon Viking back, Warrior of Light untap over and over and over. That's how it works. And then last, the Coup de Gras is Balfour. Um, it gets rid of my opponent's minions, it brings back my stuff, and I can just do it all over again. And that's how you clear the board to just swing OTK, right? Like, uh, usually? Honestly, don't need it. Really? Yeah, I can OTK still with just all my stuff. Wow. I can I can run over your field. Oh man, crazy. <laughs> yeah, because rain subtracts 2,000. So rain subtracts 2,000 from their forwards and adds 2,000 to my forwards. And Warrior of Light adds another 2,000 to my forwards. So you got like 10, 6K, 7K things swinging at you. So you got to have a pretty strong board to stop that. So. Cool, man. And so you started saying that you hate uh, Mist Dragon. Yeah. What is Mist Dragon? How does Mist Dragon really hurt you? I like? hate Mist Dragon uh, because it removes my graveyard. So I can't bring <laughs> bring Vikings back from the back, dead. It also stops my summons that allow me to ramp. Oh, I see. So uh, very often I try to bait out the Mist Dragons and it works. But when your opponent has all three Mist Dragons in their hand, you kind of just cry. Uh, going forward, uh, is there like maybe add like the summoners or something to like tech against the Mist Dragons? Like if that's such a. Um, I'm not sure. I might. Like I said, I, I right now all I have is a Stola. Mm -hmm. um, at the moment, the deck is pretty tight. I mean, there are different very Ever since I played this deck at Lightning Cup, there has been, and posted it online, there's been different variants of it. And I'm sure mine's not the best. Uh, but the way I like to play it, I'm having a hard time of fitting cards that protect or cancel Mr. How do you even cancel Mist Dragon? Summoner. Two drop, two drop water summoner. I can't run summoner. <laughs> yeah. The, also, the problem about that is that summoner is a backup slot, and the the way the deck runs, at least this one in particular, uh, I need every single mana slot I can get. So when something needs to tap for something, like Aerith already, uh, it's kind of detrimental to my deck. 
um, I kind of just have to bait it out and have Estola on the field. That's my only way out to it, unfortunately. Maybe I might add it to two. Maybe, maybe I might add it to two. That's the only way out, out I think. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot, Paul, for uh, for coming out, and I hope I really hope you make it. Yeah, like, absolutely. Thanks. <laughs> um, deck super tight. Um, I'm, I might try it out soon too. I might take it to locals and feel hit, free. It's hit pretty, them with it. It's pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap. <laughs> there you go, guys. This, um, these the are only... two budget decks already. We've shown you uh, lots of good things, um, and hopefully next time I see you, it'll be in Virginia. <laughs> I plan on making it out there this year. Absolutely. So, thanks, man. We'll catch you guys later. Logging Bye. out.